Today, Fortnite has changed the entire loot pool with the release of Fortnite Chapter 4 Season 3. So in this video, I will not only be showing you guys the entire loot pool for the season, but also I'll be ranking every single item based on the category that it falls into, showing you guys what you should pick up along the map and what you should consider ignoring. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. Now to start it off, I'm going to give you guys a full rundown of every item in the game. Starting it off with shotguns, we have the Havoc Pump, the Drum Shotgun, and the Maven Auto Shotgun. Three staples to the game, and of course the Drum Shotgun is a new one that has returned, whereas the Havoc Pump and the Maven Auto are coming over from Chapter 4 Season 2. Next up, we've got Assault Rifles. First off, we have the new Flapjack Rifle. Second, we have the Red Dot Rifle. And third, the old Havoc Suppressed AR. Again two classics in this category with one new one that has been brought into this new season next up we've got smgs we've got the submachine gun and the combat smg again one of those is an old one one of those is a new one the combat smg has been in the game before but it's been reintroduced with the release of fortnite chapter 4 season 3 and this gun is really interesting we'll get to it in a few seconds now for long range weapons we have the heavy sniper and the new thermal dmr again i've got a lot of thoughts on the thermal dmr but we'll get to those in a second now for our miscellaneous items those are the ones that don't really fit under any specific category we have the cybertron cannon which is of course the new transformers crossover mythic we have the kinetic boomerang which is effectively the newest kinetic item in the game for example we've had the kinetic hammers in the past so the this is just the newest invention that the loopers have come up with next up we have the wild wasp jar which is the new insect that has invaded the map which can be quite annoying to deal with at times and finally the good old firefly jar has carried over from the last season finally we've got our pistol category and this is literally just the tactical pistol at the release of fortnite chapter 4 season 3 i believe that we're going to be getting a new pistol later into the season but as of the moment we only have this one so i'm going to be ranking every single one of these items in their respective categories so that you guys know what to pick up along the map now do remember here this is technically my opinion but i have played a lot of matches today and overall i would say this is a fairly decently informed take that being said if you disagree with me feel free to leave a comment down below on why you disagree with me and we can have some polite discussion down below as to what you think the best items are this season so let's start it off with the most controversial category shotguns a lot of people have very uh, specific opinions about shotguns but me I like to keep my opinion simple. Coming in at number one, we've got the Havoc Pump. This is effectively just the good old pump shotgun. It does a ton of damage. It is quite reliable. It comes in a ton of rarities, but no matter what rarity you're using it in, it always manages to pack a punch. This weapon is specifically good this season because of how strong the combat SMG is. Typically, when you use a pump shotgun, you want to swap to an SMG after you use that first shot so that you can follow it up with some quick damage and because the combat smg is so powerful this is a really really good combination to carry in your loadout the havoc pump and the combat smg are great items that have amazing synergy when paired together Next up, coming in at number two for the shotguns, I actually have the drum shotgun. Now, the drum shotgun is a very controversial item. Some people hate it. Some people love it. Me, I'm putting it right in the middle of the pack. The drum shotgun can be really, really good at close range because it does a decent bit of damage very quickly into somebody's face. If you manage to land headshots, you are going to be destroying them. But the second you make it anywhere longer than like one tile away from the opponent this shotgun is useless and overall i would not recommend taking this shotgun if you're trying to look for it as something other than just an item to box dive with when i say box dive that basically means you are in the same box as them fighting in their face the drum shotgun is not good once you make it to really any range so i would highly recommend only taking this if you are in incredibly close encounter situations alongside that the drum shotgun is meant to be used as a standalone shotgun so you're typically not going to take an smg alongside it which also means you can't take the combat smg so while you have maybe opened up a slot for an extra healable item since you don't have to take an smg anymore i wouldn't recommend doing this just because of how powerful the combat smg really is now coming in at number three for the shotguns we have the maven auto shotgun which in my opinion is the most inconsistent shotgun it's like the tack from the original seasons but the damage just feels 
feels off to me it doesn't feel nice when I use it and overall I mean obviously this is a lot of personal bias here I just don't like this shotgun I don't think it's got a great spot in the current meta specifically because it's got a little bit of rapid fire but it's not as fast as the drum shotgun it's not as slow as the havoc pump it's this weird in between that just doesn't feel satisfying to use so that's why it's coming in at the last place spot for the shotgun category now next up we have the assault rifle category which again is going to be a controversial one but coming in at number one i have the flapjack rifle this is the new rifle that has been added in this season but it is just so powerful with a 45 magazine clip that is the largest clip we have ever seen in an ar this thing packs a punch it does like 25 damage per shot obviously depending on the rarity but if you manage to get your hands on the enhanced mythic flapjack rifle it is lights out for the competition this thing not only doubles as a really good long range weapon yes the bloom is a little bit high to use at long ranges but because of how large your ammo clip is you can spam at enemy players alongside this with how many augments there are this season to help give you more medium ammo this is a really really good option because you can infinitely spam your medium ammo shots and because you could get some really nice augments to pair with it you could have a ton of medium ammo to back you up with this weapon so overall the flapjack weapon is a great all-around assault rifle good for medium range good for long range in certain scenarios and it can even double as an smg sometimes i've been combining this with the havoc pump and dropping the combat smg entirely this thing can be really really fun to use so that's why i'm putting it at the number one spot for my assault rifle category coming in at number two we have the red dot assault rifle now this weapon fills a very different slot than the other assault rifles in the game and this is mainly only used for long and medium range encounters but the reason why i'm putting it at the number two slot is because it is the best medium to long range item you can have now like i said the flat Flapjack rifle is really good if you want to spam your opponents, but if you want some really fine, nice damage at these medium to long ranges, the red dot assault rifle is perfect because literally wherever your cursor is, that's where the bullet is going instantly. It's a hit scan weapon that has zero bullet travel time, meaning the second you click, that's where the damage is going. So overall, it's a very, very nice weapon to use. I personally love the red dot. I always have, and I think it is definitely the best medium to long range weapon in the game. The reason why I put the flapjack above it in the rankings is because the flapjack is also good at close range. So I just felt overall it was a little bit better. Now coming in at the third spot for the assault rifle category, we have the Havoc Suppressed AR. Now this assault rifle, while it is very, very good, in my opinion, is just a weaker version of the flapjack rifle. The magazine isn't as big, the fire rate isn't as fast, and honestly, it's got a pretty similar bloom spread when you're using it longer ranges. The only benefit that the Havoc Suppressed AR has over the flapjack rifle is that it's suppressed but everybody can still hear your bullets being shot, so that's not even a benefit. So overall, that's why I put it last place in the assault rifle rankings. It just does not feel as good to use as the flapjack rifle does to me, at least that is one day into the season. As I test it more and more, I may refine this opinion, but as of the moment, I do believe that these are the rankings for the assault rifles. Now, next up, we have the SMG category, and for this one, there's only two, and it really should only be one. The combat SMG is number one by far. Yes, the combat SMG has a ton of recoil, but if you can manage to control that recoil, this thing pumps out damage like crazy. It will demolish a target at close range, and honestly, sometimes I haven't been taking a shotgun, and instead I just take the combat SMG solely due to how much damage it does. If you can control the recoil and keep that cursor on the enemy's head, you are going to melt them all the way from 200 or 250 health all the way down to zero it is an incredibly powerful smg and it will most likely get nerfed pretty soon next up we have the submachine gun again it's a good smg to have but it's just not as good as the combat smg in my opinion the combat smg is way better that submachine gun is not even good at medium ranges because its bloom spread is just way too high whereas the combat smg i mean it's also really bad at medium ranges so neither of them are good at medium ranges that means that we're only comparing their close range abilities and the combat smg when you're at close range does way better than the smg with a way higher dps all you need to do is be able to control that 
recoil and you've got crazy damage every single time. Next up, we have the long range category. And for this one, we have two weapons yet again, the heavy sniper and the thermal DMR. Now, I would also like to throw in as an honorable mention the red dot assault rifle in the long range category. Coming in at number one, I have the heavy sniper, solely due to the fact that if you can hit your sniper shots, you're one shotting people. That's really, really good to have so that they don't fight back. Honestly, I've always loved snipers. I've loved the heavy sniper. So this will always drop in at the number one spot for the long range weapons for me. Coming in at number two, if I could say the red dot assault rifle again, I would. I would just like to throw that in there as an honorable mention. I think the red dot AR is a great long range weapon. As long as you can manage to put that red dot on the enemy player, it is great at literally any medium to long range encounter. Now, the last place spot for the long range weapons is the thermal DMR. I hate this weapon. It is such a gimmick. The thermal vision on it is so useless 99% of the time. Sure, maybe there's one time when you see somebody in a little like bush that they're crouched down in, but honestly, most bushes cover the thermal vision where you can't even see them inside of the bush. This weapon is genuinely useless with the thermal scope. So when it comes down to just the DMR, the DMR's bullet travel time is so slow compared to something like the Red Dot AR, which has no bullet travel time and the damage isn't that much more than the red dot assault rifle it's just not a good weapon and overall i cannot justify putting it in my loadout when the red dot assault rifle or the heavy sniper exists so overall i put this at the very bottom of the rankings i do not like the thermal dmr now coming in for our miscellaneous category we've got four items and coming in at number one the cybertron cannon this thing is so so good if you find one i would recommend picking it up as your special item if you can carry a special item in your inventory because it does so much damage 110 to enemy players while also blowing up builds and it has infinite charges that recharge every 30 seconds it is such a strong weapon to have not only in solos but in duos and squads if your team can have multiple of these and just send barrages of the lasers at enemy players geez the damage that can be done that is why the cybertron cannon has easily earned this number one spot and of course it is a mythic item so it should be this strong but it is a very very good item next up at the number two spot we have the kinetic boomerang i like this item a lot for zero build mode in build mode it's not my favorite because all they need to do is build a wall and they're safe from your boomerang it's a really cool concept but it really underperforms in my opinion never take this in your loadout if you're in build mode if you're in zero build mode sure take this thing honestly i could see it being really good in zero build but in build mode no don't take it next up we've got the wild wasp jar coming in at number three and this item is honestly pretty decent but it's kind of like the firefly jar where you're probably not going to use it that much it's really cool because the wasps will destroy everything in their path but at the end of the day like it's it's a wasp jar there are better items to take in your loadout so i wouldn't recommend picking it up that much i also wouldn't recommend taking the wasp augment but that's just my opinion and finally we have the firefly jar of course we've had the firefly jar in the game before you guys know it sets fire to the builds it's annoying to deal with in fights but you can deal with it it's really not the end of the world if your structure gets set on fire so overall it's it's a nice item but it's not really that horrible to have to deal with that's why it's coming in the last place for the miscellaneous category now for the final category we have pistols and there's one pistol there's the tactical pistol it's yeah it's, it's it's pretty good honestly i mean i wouldn't take this in my main loadout but early game if you're stuck with a weapon heck yeah man the tactical pistol can deal some damage it is a great early game weapon especially if you haven't found something like the combat smg yet to deal with those close range encounters or the flapjack rifle for those medium to long range it's honestly a really good all-around weapon where you can hit some medium range shots and you can deal with those close range scenarios with the auto fire on it it's honestly a really nice all-around weapon and i do quite like the tactical pistol but overall that is the entire loot pool that is currently in the game for fortnite chapter 4 season 3 and my rankings for every single one of the items if you guys did enjoy this video or find it helpful then please consider leaving a like in it and subscribing to the channel as that would help me out a ton i hope you guys all have an amazing day and i will see you guys in the next one